Welcome back. 2024 will bring Houston a new mayor. John Whitmire will inherit a whole host of problems left squarely in his lap by Sylvester Turner. Let's start with a lingering crime wave which has subsided a little, but hardly enough to restore a sense of security to the vast majority of Houstonians. Up next, city finances, which multiple experts have warned are heading over a dangerous fiscal cliff, despite the outgoing mayor's false claims to the contrary. Exacerbating the impending money woes, a massive liability to our city's firefighters, who've been without a contract for seven years and just secured a court order ensuring at least five full years of back pay and benefits, a whopping account payable due entirely to the outgoing mayor's refusal to collectively bargain. As if that weren't enough, Houstonians are collectively screaming about the deteriorating condition of their ragged roads and the ramshackle status of our water system. And finally, panel John Whitmire inherits a city hall operated for much of the last eight years under what former housing director Tom McCaslin famously described as a culture of corruption. Ooh, that's a heap and helping right there. So uh, take your pick there in terms of, uh, of the big challenges John Whitmire needs to attack first and effectively. First, I want to say mayor-elect John Whitmire, that sounds so fabulous, it does. <laughs> and the second thing is the city of Houston really did come together overwhelmingly on this, um, this race behind the mayor-elect and also it was a, a total repudiation of Turner's administration and, and um, what they've gotten. So first they have to figure out where, what the finances are really truly about because what Turner is saying is just absolutely not true. So before you can move forward, you have to figure out how much money you have and where you're going to spend that money. And then you have to prioritize, I'd say, you know, absolutely with the police department and crime, it's, it's a huge, it's a huge priority. Now, you know, congratulations to the firefighters. You know, they finally have gotten a decision on Turner's watch, which was nice. They've got to sit down and start uh, doing collective bargaining, and then we'll find out how much is owed and how they're going to work through all of that. And then he's got city services. Virtually every city service in the city is broken in some way to prioritize. And, you know, the permitting department needs to get stood up. And, and it should first because it's a revenue generator. Um, but, but, but I know that, that they're putting together their plan. I think they're going to step out right out at the first of the year, lay out to the citizens what they're going to do, and then move forward. As someone who's both arrested people and defended people in court, what's the crime status in this city? Uh, Charles, about 40 says, seconds. We, we're being lied to, right? We are discouraging people from reporting crime. I, anecdotally, I called uh, HPD about a domestic disturbance in the, in the street in front of my house. It took almost two hours for them to respond. Then they could write it off as unfounded. Crime is much worse than the numbers, and we need somebody to quickly address it, and I'm hopeful Whitmire will change a lot of poli policing policies. I disagree that Houston didn't come to, 200,000 people voted, right? We are all ap apathetic. Most Houstonians have given up, right? We've given up on things getting better here, on crime stopping here, that we're not safe, and damn it, things need to change. All right, clear.